Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to make these cute altered ticket paper clips. I previously made one on a video a couple videos back and it's this right here, but I could not figure out how to get the darn paper clip on right. Uh, I slowed this down so I could show you. So that the entire layered bit of it wasn't hanging off the top of the journal. Um, I wanted it to be down on the page and I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. So I figured it out. Here we are. I'm using these printables from Tsunami Rose and I I printed them much smaller than they are. I'm going to have a video linked down below so you can see how I did that. And then I just have a bunch of goodies like gold thread. Um, I have all kinds of little paper scraps and small die cuts. I have my gold paper clips. And I also have a variety of papers if I want to do any layering. I also have cheesecloth, and I can't remember. I remembered that word. It's one that I can never remember. So I like to have everything here so that I can just make these quick and easy. And they're really easy to just make a bunch at one time. These are really cute for journals or happy mail or really any kind of proje projects that you're working on for Christmas. And then I have some little sequins. And so we're just going to jump right in. Now I'm having to do a voiceover because I was, my husband was out working on a project while I was filming this. Okay, also I have my glues. I have my Tombow Mono Aqua Glue, but I actually used the hot glue gun for this because I wanted things to quickly stick down. Um, and it works so good with the gold thread, honestly, or any thread, but I had gold thread. And then I have my ink, which is my Distress Oxide ink as well. So I'm going to go ahead by and start out by cutting a bunch of these out. Like I said, I like to have everything just ready to go so it's like assembly line situation. And so I just cut out some of my favorites. I did leave a little bit of white on the edges. Number one, I'm lazy and I didn't want to try to be so precise with my cutting, but also I like using the ink because I think that it kind of ties in well to the vintage feel that you get from these images. Now, again, I keep mentioning this, but I have a new camera and I'm still trying to figure out how to get the focus to work good. So bear with me on that, but here you go. So I took a some tickets. I didn't show you very well here, but we're gonna do a bunch of these together. And I took two of them. Now these tickets are just from the Dollar Tree. They're not super thick, but they work great. And I just fold them in half. Now, depending if you want your paper clip embellishment to go up and down or sideways. Um, that will just depend on how you fold the tickets together. And you'll see why we're going to have two of them because that's how it's going to hold the paper clip on. So I'm just starting out by layering and using some cheesecloth and some other little papers. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I like to use lots of different layers, lots of different textures in my layers. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun to kind of hold the cheesecloth in place and then I can stick the paper down on top. Now it took me a while to figure out, I, I was just about burning myself every single time and I forgot I had this really cool tool that I could have used, but I forgot about it until close to the end. It's a little like a silicone, I don't really know, I see a bunch of ladies using it, but I got it from Mama Megs on YouTube. She sent me it and... Once I remembered to use it, it was very helpful. Now, I like to wind the thread around my fingers, like three, two or three finger, fingers. Um, for some reason, I just could not get this darn thread to go right. But you just kind of ball it up. And then, again, the hot glue is what works so well because that's going to help hold it down. Um, it really catches on the hot glue. If you use any other glues, it, you're going to have to kind of hold it there and let it sit for a bit. But... <laughs> Yeah, the thread kept popping up and I don't know. Also, for some reason, my camera just really wants to focus on that distress oxide. So I tried to cut out some parts where it was blurry, but at least I hope you guys can tell. I have a new filming setup where I'm filming straight down rather than tilted. Now, I don't know if you can tell a difference, but for me, it's so much better because I have more room to work with and I'm not running into my tripod. So for the paper clip, you're going to go ahead and open up that ticket because we didn't glue it together yet. And you're actually going to place the paper clip on the ticket. I feel like I just said Q-tip a minute ago. I hope I said paper clip. <laughs> now I like the bigger portion of the paper clip to be on the outside. 
I think you could do either or. It's probably not going to matter, but I like the bigger portion because then I can actually slide this embellishment all the way down on the paper so that nothing's sticking up above. I do like things sticking out of my journals, but not the paper clip embellishments. I feel like that really just doesn't work out well. Um, I'm using the hot glue again just because it was convenient to now close that together and I just put the glue all in the middle all around the paper clip and it's fine if it even gets on the paper clip. So then you're left with the working portion on the back there and you can easily slide it on your paper like so. And again, I know that I guess that technically I'm altering these tickets. You don't really see them in the final product, but you know, I just had them, they were sitting around and I haven't used them for anything. So I felt like it was just good to, let's just use them, even if we're covering them up. And you get so many for a dollar. So if you're able to find these at the Dollar Tree, definitely grab some. You can do all kinds of projects with them. Um, I even sometimes put them in my journals just as is. Like, say we went to like the movies. I mean, yeah, right now, right now, because hashtag pandemic. But you know what I mean? It, <laughs> we did go to a, like a, a, a few like fall festivals over the summer. And I always like to put like a ticket with my layouts and my journals. I think it's cute. So now I'm taking these again. I'm just going to go ahead and place the paper clip on. So we're making a few of these together and obviously you can see this is really repetitive but maybe you'll get an idea or two with one of the paper clips that I make here that you didn't see at first. These images are so cute and they're so tiny that you really can't see too well on my camera here but definitely check out Tsunami Rose. She has so many cute printables. So many ladies have really cute printables right now and unfortunately I was hoping that I would be able to get a chance to use a bunch more but my printer was broke and then we fixed it and now it's like technically fixed but even these you can't tell because they're so small but the printer is not working well so I think we're gonna have to get a new one. I'm definitely going to have to maybe I'll put that on my Christmas list. A new printer but I also need a new hot glue gun. Mine works fine, but let me know down below. Do you have a good hot glue gun that you really like? Ooh, what about a cordless one? I bet they go through batteries really fast, don't they? Anyways, um, so again, you can see what I'm doing here. I just wanted to add a few things for layering. This gold trim that I put on here first is really cool, and it's kind of like wired trim. I'm not sure. I don't know where I got it. I think it was maybe in Happy Mail or something, because I don't think I bought it, but it's really cool. And then I just always ink up the edges of the little image that I'm going to use. I'm excited to use some of these in my journals. Um, I also printed these out on the backs of scrapbook paper because I wasn't sure how I was going to use them at first and so I wanted the backs to be pretty, but either way. This is some really cool maybe handmade paper, not sure because again I got it in Happy Mail, but it, it just reminds me of snow. And while I already had the gold on here, I thought it would be cool to add. Also, if you guys are here hanging with me and you want to enter the super secret giveaway, I feel like I should have a song about it or something. Um, I want you to leave in in a, in a comment below. You can mix it in with your own comment. I want you to say the words snow cute. So you can say like, oh, that was snow cute, or you can say, add it in anyway, and that will enter you into the secret giveaway. And for the prize today, I'm going to be giving away a set of these altered paper clips along with some surprise goodies. And I have announced the last two winners. One, I got her email and was able to send her the Amazon gift card. And the second, I sent away some happy mail that I made. So I'm um, having lots of fun with this and I appreciate you guys for entering and playing along. It's been lots of fun and I appreciate you guys so much. All right, so back to the show. We're going to make another layered paper clip here. I love also that the tickets were red and green. Even though I was covering them up, I thought you could probably do something really fun with the tickets even showing, like maybe doing some decoupage on them or something like that. 
I definitely might have to try and do this again um, in that kind of way. So for the last couple paper clips, I think I forgot to actually glue them together, but luckily I remembered. I think that's what reminded me. I was like, wait, did I glue that last one together? So um, obviously it's not a big deal, but gluing it together is going to kind of just ensure that everything stays together. It's not going to move around and fall on your page. And actually, I really am happy that I ended up using the hot glue because it really kind of hardened everything and made these, I feel like, less fragile. So um, if they get bumped around and stuff, they're going to be totally fine. I guess the Tombow Mono Aqua Glue does that as well. It dries kind of hard, but I think um, if you've used super glue, you know how it kind of adds more dimension. So I had to speed through this next one. You can see I already have it half done because the focusing was just awful. I had to cut some of it out. But here I am actually ending or finishing this one off with these really cute little jewels. It almost looks like a water drop and then a couple or another sequin. And I love this look. I love adding jewels and sequins to my pages. But Number one, I feel like they always fall off. Um, I'm hoping that this hot glue was go is going to end up holding this one on a lot better. But um, also those little water bubble looking things are really dimensional, but they're so cute. So now I was smart and I found that silicone wand thing. <laughs> and um, this seriously makes such a difference when you're using hot glue. So like I said, I think this came from the Dollar Tree. I did get it in Happy Mail. Um, I think it was Mama Megs on YouTube who gave it to me, but now that I'm saying that, I feel like maybe it could have been Jen, Jenny um, from Jen's Junk. So, <laughs> anyways. I okay, so I'm making just one more. I wanted to use a specific image, and so um, I went ahead and put this all together really quick, and I did speed through a lot of this because man, it, it just was not in focus, so I... I gotta figure it out guys. <laughs> but it says Christmas displays and we are planning to go to our zoo lights and um, it's just a local Christmas thing that goes on. Now normally you walk through the zoo and you can see all the pretty lights and they have all kinds of displays and things but this year you drive through so everyone stays in their own cars and you drive through. And So I thought this this little image that says Christmas displays would be just perfect and so I wanted to make one more to go along with it. So anyways guys, thanks for sticking with me while I figure out my new camera and my new setup and everything. Here's a much better look at the final altered ticket paper clips. I hope that you guys will make some too and if you do, please tag me in a photo on Instagram or you can send one to me on um, email. Okay guys, well I will see you later. Bye!